Retriever vs. Labrador. If you're looking for a lovable addition to your family, two of the top choices are a Golden Retriever or a Labrador. These dogs certainly look very similar and have a lot of similar traits, but let's have a closer look to see which of these two breeds would be best for your family. Before we start, please make sure that you are subscribed to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to hit the like button, and most importantly click the bell icon, so that you will be notified of our future videos. History The Golden Retriever was originally bred in Scotland in the mid-19th century. This dog was bred for the purpose of retrieving shot waterfowl, such as ducks and game birds, during hunting parties. The name, Retriever, refers to the breed's ability to retrieve shot game undamaged, due to their soft mouth. In order to produce a breed that was comfortable in retrieving game, from both land and water, retrievers were crossed with water spaniels to produce the golden retriever. The original cross was of a yellow-colored retriever with a tweed water spaniel. Dudley Marjorie Banks had purchased a yellow-colored retriever in 1865 from an unregistered litter of black wavy-coated retriever pups. This cross produced a litter that included four pups. These four pups became the basis of a breeding program, which included the Irish Setter, the Bloodhound, the St. John's Water Dog of Newfoundland, and two more wavy-coated black retrievers. The goal of this crossing was to produce a powerful and vigorous dog that would still be gentle and trainable. The Golden Retriever's gentle temperament has made it the third most popular family dog breed in the United States. The Labrador Retriever, also known simply as Labrador, is a gun dog from the United Kingdom that was developed from imported Canadian fishing dogs. The Labrador is one of the most popular dog breeds in the world. The Labrador breed dates back to at least the 1830s, when St. John's Water Dogs, bred by European settlers in Newfoundland, were first introduced to Britain from trading ships. These were then bred with British hunting dogs, to create what became known as the Labrador Retriever. The first yellow Labrador on record was born in 1899, and the breed was recognized by the Kennel Club in 1903. The first American Kennel Club registration was in 1917. The liver, now typically called Chocolate Labrador, emerged in the late 1800s, with liver-colored pups documented in 1892. The first dog to appear on the cover of Life magazine was a black Labrador retriever called Blind of Arden in the December 12, 1938 issue. If you are enjoying this video, please drop us a like. Appearance Golden Retriever coats range from light golden to dark golden. The top coat is water-resistant and slightly wavy and sheds in small amounts throughout the year. The undercoat is soft and keeps the retriever cool in summer and warm in winter. Golden retrievers have mild feathering on the backs of their four legs and heavier feathering on the fronts of their necks, backs of their thighs, and the bottoms of their tails. Puppy coats are usually much lighter than their adult coats, but a puppy with darker ear tips may indicate a darker adult color. Golden retrievers require regular grooming and occasional baths. Their coats shed somewhat during the year but are known to shed profusely twice a year. While shedding is unavoidable, frequent grooming lessens the amount of hair shed. Labradors tend to shed hair biannually or regularly throughout the year in temperate climates. Regular cleaning of ears is required or ear infections might occur. The webbed toes of the Labrador Retriever make them excellent swimmers. Their interwoven coat is also relatively waterproof, providing more assistance for swimming. Labrador Retrievers' coats can be black, yellow or chocolate, originally referred to as liver-colored. Puppies of all colors can occur in the same litter. The Golden Retriever's height range is between 22 to 24 inches, 56 to 61 centimeters, for dogs, and 20 to 22 inches, 51 to 56 centimeters, for bitches. The weight of Golden Retrievers is between 65 to 75 pounds, 29 to 34 kilograms, for dogs, and between 55 to 65 pounds, 25 to 29 kilograms, for bitches. 
Labrador's height range is between 22 to 23 inches, 56 to 57 centimeters, for dogs and 21 to 22 inches, 54 to 56 centimeters, for bitches. The weight of Labradors is between 65 to 80 pounds, 29 to 36 kilograms, for dogs and 55 to 70 pounds, 25 to 32 kilograms, for bitches. Personality Golden Retrievers are kindly, friendly and confident. They make great family pets and are especially patient with children, as well as being compatible with other dogs, cats and most livestock. They are not one-man dogs and are friendly with both strangers and those familiar to them. This makes them very poor guard dogs. Typically golden retrievers are calm and intelligent with eagerness to please. This is a fun-loving active breed that is exceptionally trainable. They are also very competitive in agility and other performance events. The Labrador is a kind, pleasant, and outgoing dog. These dogs have a reputation as a very even-tempered breed and an excellent family dog. This includes a good reputation with children and other animals. Labradors often enjoy retrieving a ball and other forms of activity, such as agility or flyball. Labradors are usually not noisy or territorial. They are very easygoing and trusting with strangers and, therefore, just like the Golden Retriever, are not suitable as guard dogs. Labradors are curious and exploratory and love company, following both people and interesting scents for food and attention. Labradors are powerful swimmers, noted for their ability to tolerate the coldest of water for extended periods of time. Their ability to work quietly alongside hunters while watching for birds to fall from the sky marking where they land, and then using their outstanding nose to find and retrieve dead or wounded birds has made them the king of waterfowl retrievers. Both the Golden Retriever and the Labrador are popular as disability assistance dogs, such as being guide dogs for the blind or hearing dogs for the deaf. They are also trained to aid those with autism and to act as therapy dogs. Both breeds are also trained as hunting, sporting and detection dogs. The Labrador is a kind, pleasant, and outgoing dog. Lifespan and Health Both Golden Retrievers and Labradors have a similar lifespan, which ranges between 10 to 12 years, with some exceptions even making it up to 19 years of age. Golden Retrievers are known to have genetic disorders and other diseases. Hip dysplasia is common in the breed, which is why it's important that you ensure that you only buy your puppy from reputable breeders that have tested all their breeding stock. Obesity is also common in the breed because golden retrievers love to eat. It is essential that food intake is monitored. Eye diseases are also possible in the breed, with cataracts being the most common eye disease. They can also be afflicted with progressive retinal atrophy, glaucoma, entropion, corneal dystrophy, and retinal dysplasia. They may suffer from heart disease and joint diseases and cruciate ligament rupture. Labradors are a healthy breed with relatively few major problems. Notable issues related to health include inherited disorders and obesity. Labradors are somewhat prone to hip and elbow dysplasia, although not as much as some other breeds. Hip scores are recommended before breeding and often joint supplements are recommended. Labradors also suffer from the risk of knee problems. A luxating patella is a common occurrence in the knee, where the knee dislocates and goes back into place. Eye problems are also possible in some Labradors, particularly progressive retinal atrophy, cataracts, corneal dystrophy, and retinal dysplasia. There is a small incidence of other conditions, such as autoimmune diseases and deafness in Labradors, either congenitally or later in life. Breeding the average litter size for a Golden Retriever is 8 pups, with litter sizes varying from 4 to 12 pups. Labrador's litter size range between 6 and 8 pups, although some may be as many as 12 or more. It's also not uncommon for only one or two pups being born. Going on the information provided, which breed would you pick? The Golden Retriever or the Labrador? Let us know in the comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe 